Hello. People are still having babies, and when people are having babies, they want to know how popular that baby name is. I'm Chris Menard. I've been covering linked data types in Excel. So Microsoft Excel has a linked data type for baby names, and it's one of the automatic data types. But today I'm going to show you not only or is it a linked data type, they even have a template now for baby names. So this is actually a lot of fun. So just to show you the linked data type first, you need to have a Microsoft 365 account. And I'm going to type in just three names just to keep this simple. Noah, Chris, and Emma, I'm going to select them. By default, I'm on home. I'm going to go to the data tab. If I click on the data tab, I've already covered stock, geography, zip codes. I used the university data type with a template. I used the city data type with a template. And automatic, I did diseases and I did dog breeds. Well, I don't see baby names in here, so let's just go to automatic. That's what automatic is for. Need to have an internet connection. So it's going to come back and that's what I expected. It wants to know, is Chris male or female? Uh, since I'm Chris, I'm going to go with male. And for Emma, male or female, I'm going to go with female. So I've got my three baby names picked out. It even has an icon for them. So here we go. What do you want to know? I want to know what is the current rank. I knew, because I looked this up to test this, I knew Emma would be one and Noah would be two. My test to look these up, I used the Social Security Administration. They know what people name their babies every year. So those are actually accurate. Uh, highlight them again. One more item. What else do you want to know? Um, gender. This is the gender that it's using, in case you're wondering. So that's great. I can keep coming here and picking these different fields, but Microsoft Excel has a template now for baby names. I've already downloaded it, so I'll put a link to where you can download it in my YouTube description, but let's go play with it for a while. And what's cool about the template, so here's the template. Three, there were three worksheets when I did the city and the university or college template. This one has four worksheets at the bottom. Again, I'm not going to run through welcome. I'm going to go to name list. The names you see on my screen right now are already in the template. Excel is just trying to get you started with this. So let's go put in my name. My actual name is Christopher. So by the way, for notable people over here in this last column, I'm expecting at some point to see Christopher Walken, because I'm a Christopher Walken fan. When I hit tab, Excel's probably going to want to know, are you looking for a Christopher male or female? So we'll see if that's true. I'm going to click back on my name, and sure enough, over here to the right, for the data selector, male or female, I'm going to go with male. And let me go ahead and add one more in here. I'm going to put in a Karen. We'll click back on Karen. If it doesn't pick it up, male or female, I'm going to go female. So I've added two more names. By the way, Liam is number one, according to the Social Security Administration, for names. Mason's number nine. That is correct. Let's see if that Noah comes out to number two here, because I did Noah when I was showing you if you just want to type the data types yourself, and it did come out to number two. So here's what's cool. I'm on the name list. I can keep putting in names. Here is notable people. If you notice, Liam, Mason, Lucas, Christopher, Karen, and Noah were not in there, and I added them. So if I go to notable people, it has Liam by default, and there's a bunch of Liams that are notable people. But because I added those names on the name list worksheet, when I click here, there is Christopher, 
Karen and Noah. I'm going to do Christopher. Let's see if my Christopher Walken shows up. And there's Christopher Walken. Oh, there's Christopher Lee. Also, there is Christopher Plummer, another great actor. Anyway, so this is working. If you also want to know age and history, because if you notice back here, Christopher used to be a really popular name. Well, now I'm ranking 42. I don't care that I'm 42. That doesn't bother me. But if I go look at this field, what this is showing you is Liam was never a popular name in the 70s or in the 80s or in the 90s. But slowly at some point in the 90s, it started becoming popular. And now it apparently it's number one. So let's go take a look at Christopher used to be a popular name. So let's try that one. And sure enough. In the 60s, it took off, 70s, uh, went down a little bit in the 70s, it looks like, went back up in the 80s and started declining in the mid-80s somewhere. Anyway, great stuff. I know people love to figure out names for their babies. So this is called the Baby Names Template. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.